So today I want to discuss a little bit more about the controversy that is surrounding PlayStation 5s and my channel in particular, where there's been a kind of a viral news article in the past few days and essentially I'm kind of at the centre of attention for that because I'm a technician and I'm one of the first people who discovered this issue. Now, the controversy that I'm talking about here is the liquid metal issue on the PlayStation 5 and how it spills out onto the motherboard. That is not an orb that's floating, so please, people, stop saying that. It's just a bit of dust. But anyway, um, yeah, so essentially the issue is when the consoles are in a vertical position, gravity takes over and the liquid metal that is on the APU, cooling the system, is spilling out and it's coming all down here onto the VRMs and things like that. So. One of the things that I've read and one of the things that I want to point out that news articles such as Walolo have got wrong is that they're quoting me as saying that I've seen these consoles coming out from factory, never been messed with, never been turned on, standing for months and they have basically had liquid metal spilt. That's not the case. I have not said that and I can't recall any point in the past where I've ever said that. I don't want people to think that I have said things that I've not and if I think something is wrong whether or not I'm getting you know hundreds of thousands of extra views than I normally would I don't want people to think that I'm trying to make up stories because that's not the case I have no reason to it was not me who caused this post to go viral I wasn't the creator of the post all I did was posted a video three months ago three months ago and it's only just blowing up now because the right people at the right time have seen the original news article from Walolo. They do a great job, Walolo do do a great job and I want to give massive props to those guys. They are definitely working hard to bring this, this issue to light and it is an issue. It is absolutely an issue but I just don't recall ever saying that I've opened up consoles out of the box and had this issue. The only console that I've ever opened up brand new from Factory was one that I bought on the 28th of December from Amazon. I bought the new 1200 series, the God of War edition, because I want to do some comparisons on the board and things. And I'm going to be doing a teardown of that. Uh, it's actually a technician's teardown more to see what chips are on the board and things like that. But I'm going to be doing that in the next few days. But that's the only PlayStation 5 that I've had brand new. I own four PlayStation 5s. Five if you include this board here, and only one of those is brand new. And that is the one that I bought just after Christmas. So that's the only console I've opened up fresh out of the box, and I haven't looked inside yet. I haven't removed the factory stickers or anything like that. I haven't even powered it on because I'm doing a comparison on it. I'm going to be doing a video in a few days about that, so if you do want to see that, make sure you get subscribed for it. But basically, I don't recall ever saying that, and if I'm wrong... Please give me the source of where I said that. Give me the link to the video or the link to any article I may have posted in the past or any post on any forum or anything like that. And yeah, I am more than happy to retract this statement if that's the case. But I don't recall ever saying that and I don't recall ever seeing one where I've opened it up. So hey, I get things wrong, okay? I'm a busy guy. I do a lot of different things. I've got a family, I've got a YouTube channel, I've got a business. So I'm a busy guy. I forget things all the time. I'd forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. And every single time I record a video, I forget to brush my hair. So yeah, I do get things wrong, but I don't recall ever saying that. Another thing that I want to basically address is the fanboyism. The amount of fanboys that are coming out of the woodworks is quite ridiculous and it's quite sad. Never, ever defend a company that you don't know anything about, or rather on a subject that you don't know anything about. Never. Because you could be wrong. If you don't know, if you're not a technician, and you're not seeing these things every day, then how can you possibly defend that company and say that they wouldn't possibly do that, or this isn't an issue? There's a lot of people saying that Sony would have made an announcement, they would have done a mass recall, there would have been lawsuits, blah, blah, blah. No. No. I've got nothing against Sony. That camera right there in front of me is a Sony camera. This camera above me here, for my overhead camera, that's a Sony camera. Those cameras are both ZV-1s, and they are fantastic cameras. I own four PlayStation 5s, technically five, 
but I own four fully working, fully assembled PlayStation 5s. One of those is brand new, which I did buy directly from Amazon, which would have gone directly from Sony. So I also own probably three or four PlayStation 4s. I also own two PlayStation 3s, two PlayStation 2s, and five PlayStation 1s. I've got nothing against Sony. I like Sony. In fact, I've been recently praising Sony on recent videos for the stuff that they are doing properly, such as on this board here, where they haven't paired the SSD to the motherboard like Microsoft have. I have no reason to try and affect any part of their company. I have no reason to try and, uh, I don't know, harm their company in any way, shape or form. I've got respect for Sony for what they're doing in terms of the SSDs and things and what they're doing right compared to what Microsoft are doing wrong. But that being said, I also own Microsoft products and I also own Series X's, Series S's, One X's, One S's, Xbox Ones, etc. In fact, there's four or five Xboxes down there. I've got nothing against any of these companies. I've got nothing against Apple personally. I've got nothing against Nintendo, Microsoft, Sony, any of these companies. They've all got the flaws, but I really don't care. To me, it's work. So, another thing that a lot of people are saying, and this is the final subject that I want to touch on, another thing that people are saying is that this is all fear-mongering. This is all scare tactics used by technicians to try and get more business and to try and scare people into sending the consoles off for repair. No. No. Because the only reason someone's ever going to send their console off for repair is when it, gets, it, is when it actually does break. Now... Let's say, for example, you send a console to me with no power. The first thing I'm going to look for is liquid metal spills, because it is common. It, at the end of the day, we've got no reason to lie. There's video proof. I've covered it several times on this channel, as well as on live streams and stuff. I don't keep a record of what I do on live streams and stuff, so I can't give you a back catalogue of what I've done. But essentially, this is, a, this is an issue to the point where it is becoming a... Um, a first check for us when we get no power issues or when we get blue light of death issues. However, if you send a console to me with no power, I'll check the liquid metal. If it's the liquid metal that's causing the issue, then I'll fix it. But if it's not, then I'll look on to fixing something else. Now, let's say, for example, it is the liquid metal. You're going to pay me 40 to 50 pound, depending how bad it is. That's around 70 US dollars in Freedom Books. So you're going to pay me around about £50 to fix that issue because it takes me around about 45 minutes to an hour to sort out, disassemble, clean it up and then put it all back together. So you're going to pay me about £50. If you send that to Sony, you're going to pay £240 if it's out of warranty because that's their flat rate. No matter what the issue, they will, pay, they will charge you £240. Now, let's say for example it's not the liquid metal. And let's say, for example, it's another issue, such as another common issue like the Wi-Fi chip, which is very common at failing, uh, the 5 to 3.3 volt regulator, which is a very common failure point, or some capacitors around uh, the bottom of the board here, around the 5 volt circuit, or even the South Bridge. You're going to pay me between 80 to £140, depending on the issue. If I'm going to replace the South Bridge, you're going to pay me £140 because the South Bridge alone costs £30 a buy. If I'm going to replace anything on the SSD, you're going to pay about the same. If it's something like a few capacitors which have gone bad or a couple of smaller chips, you're going to pay me around about £100. You're still going to pay £240 with Sony. I would have more incentive to tell people it was another issue than I would to tell them it was a liquid metal issue. I'm not charging an arm and a leg for liquid metal issues, so I have no reason to lie. I have no reason to try and scare them into thinking that their issue is caused by leaking liquid metal. It doesn't make sense, does it? Think about it. Take a step back, forget the company, forget who you're dealing with, forget who I am, just think logically. Would it make any sense for me to entice you to pay for a repair that's cheaper than a repair that it actually is? because then I lose money. It just does not make any sense. And the amount of fanboys that I'm seeing coming out in the woodworks is really quite sad, to be honest. The way I see it is, if you are a fanboy, no one can do any wrong. 
there are certain people in the television industry, I'm not going to get into names, I'm not going to get into politics, there are certain people in the television and movie industry who have done very, very wrong things, and for years, their fans defended them, and then it came out that that was actually true, and the things that they did was horrible, okay? Absolutely horrible. Never, doesn't matter who it is, never give 100% trust to anyone, because anyone can be lying at any time. Anyone can be doing wrong at any time, and that includes big corporations who do have an incentive in selling cheaply made goods, okay? So, for example, on the PlayStation 5, there's about seven or eight different failure points, which I've documented on my channel, which most of those have been done live, where I've taken it apart live, I've diagnosed it live, and then I've put it back together and got it working live in front of four to six hundred people most of the time okay there's no way i can fake these videos most of my videos are done live i live stream them over on twitch and i live stream them on youtube on mondays and fridays there is no way possible without some mad camera equipment and some mad technology that i'll be able to fake these videos okay most of those are live streamed videos which i've just chopped down into smaller content and posted it as an actual video so people can find their issue. So, the people that are saying that there's none of these failure points, seriously, take a step back, dude. Take a step back and stop being a fanboy because it is literally going to make your life hell. You'll be a fanboy. Oh, there can't be anything wrong with the product because Sony haven't said there's something wrong with the product. There can't be anything wrong with this product because Microsoft say that it's fine. There can't be anything wrong with this MacBook because Apple says I'm just using it wrong. No, not at all. These companies want you to think that. And I'm not pointing fingers at any company. I'm not trying to make, I'm not trying to name names. I'm not trying to blame people or companies or corporations. But companies do not care about you, okay? They do not give a damn. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. They don't care about anyone apart from themselves, their CEOs, and their shareholders. That is all they care about, okay? Because the bottom line is, the more of these we buy, the more their stock goes up, and the more their company's worth. The bigger the bonus the CEO can take at the end of the year, and the happier the shareholders will be. If we have to replace these every year and a half, that's great for Sony, that's great for Microsoft, that's great for Apple, that's great for Google, that's great for all of these companies who are making money every single time we have to replace one of these devices. That is the bottom line. As technicians, we do our best to keep these items out of landfill. A, one very big important issue is obviously the environment and by repairing devices instead of replacing them, we are saving the environment. It might only be small, but it still helps. And that is a passion of mine, is to keep as many of these out of landfill as possible. If you send this back to the manufacturer, or any other company for that matter, you know, it doesn't, not necessarily Sony, but if you send a device back to a manufacturer, most companies, 99.9% .9 of companies, are gonna tell you that you need a new board. If you send it to an, an Apple authorized repair center, they're gonna tell you you need to replace the board because you've got a blown backlight fuse. Whereas in reality, it's a 50 cent part to replace it. That's just the bottom line. As technicians, we don't replace boards, or proper technicians don't replace boards. Proper technicians, proper engineers, skilled people, find the faulty component, or find the faulty area, and we fix it. That's the bottom line. So, we have no incentive to lie, okay? Because it makes our job easier. If it's just a liquid metal spill, it's simple, it's easy, it's fast money, Get it done, move on to the next one. So, anyway, that's going to be it for this video. This is that little rant over. Uh, I hope that clears a few things up. As I said, I don't ever recall saying that I've taken them out of the box fresh from factory, and that is definitely something that, I'm sorry, Wololo, but you got it wrong. I have never said that, and I don't want people to think I have. Other than that, this is an issue. It's still an issue, and it will still be an issue into the future. We need Sony to comment. It's a bit strange how they haven't yet. I know, Sony, if you're watching this, I know that you are aware of the situation. I know that you're aware of the news because there's no way of missing it. Absolutely no way of missing it. 
please comment please give us some information and uh yeah that's gonna be for this video if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe turn on the bell notifications all of that jazz and i'll see you all in the next video bye for now